I'm now introducing the median strain problem, and to define this problem, we need to define the notion of distance not only between k-mers of the same size, but also a distance between a k-mer and a longer string. So what is the uh, distance between two strings of different lengths? We simply start from a smaller string and compare it to the first k-mer in the text. Distance in this case is seven. We move further, distance six, continue, 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 continue until the end of the string, and then return to the place where the distance was minimal. So in this way, we will find a camer within a longer string that is most close to our camer of interest. And this is the distance between pattern and a string. What is the distance between a camer and a set of strings? In this case, it's simply the sum of distances between a pattern and each string in the set. And after, so for example, for pattern AAA and a set of strings shown on this slide, we can compute distance with every string and then simply sum up all the distances. The result is five. A median string for the set of string DNA is a K-mer pattern minimizing distance between pattern and DNA over all possible K-mers. And our median strain problem will be based on the problem we formulated before, which is yet another equivalent motif finding problem. If you remember this problem, then it looks like even more complicated than the original motif finding problem, because in this problem we need to find a camera and a set of motifs satisfying certain property. But in fact, the only thing we need to find is a K-mer pattern as shown in this median string problem. Uh, in this case, we search for a K-mer pattern minimizing distance between this pattern and the set of strings DNA among all possible K-mers. Now, there is a very simple algorithm for solving this problem. We simply need to try all possible K-mers and see whether the distance between uh, pattern A DNA is minimal for each camera among all possible camera. The running time of this algorithm is 4 to the power k and t k, where we deal with these t sequences of length n. So, what we have just accomplished, we started from motif finding problem, and the brute force algorithm for solving this problem was incredibly slow. We turn it into yet another equivalent motif finding problem, and through this problem, we were able to switch to median string problem with a very different runtime. In fact, it's still an exponential algorithm, but for practical applications where k is usually less than 15, we still can run this algorithm. So dramatic improvement on the motif finding problems that we started from. So sometimes change of perspective helps. And to move further, we will notice that also median string problem is much faster than motif finding problem. It's still slow if we search for long motifs. And a little bit later, we will figure out how to deal with such motifs. Our last topic in this segment is greedy motif search. We'll now talk about a greedy algorithm for solving motif finding problem. Given a set of motifs, we already learned how to construct the consensus string. Now let's construct the count matrix, where in every column we simply have counts of all nucleotides. And also, from this count matrix can be transformed into so-called profile matrix, where we have frequencies of nucleotides in every column. Now, these frequencies of nucleotides in every column can be viewed as a four-sided biased dice, representing probability of ending up of, on a given phase of a dice. And we can, can view it as essentially as a probability distribution. And if it is a die, let's ask a question of what is the probability then tossing such die based on the motifs will generate a given string of DNA. 
For example, what will be the probability for generating a string shown at this slide? So given the following profile, we ask what is the probability of generating the consensus string AAACCT? And this probability will be simply uh, computed by multiplication of corresponding elements in the profile matrix. If we take another string, we will get a different probability, and you have already noticed that the closer the string is to the consensus string of the profile, the higher is the probability of generating this string. And now we define the notion of profile most probable k-mer in a sequence. This is the k-mer with the highest probability among uh, all k-mers in the string. And here is an example of how I can generate profile most probable k-mer in a string. We start from first k-mer in a string, compute probability, and record it in the last column of the matrix. We continue until we fill all the matrix and finally select the largest probability, which in this case corresponds to the red uh, entry in the matrix. And with this at hand, we are now ready for greedy motif search, which works in a very simple way. We start from the set of I minus one motifs selected from the first I minus one sequences and show how to extend this set of motifs by the motif in the I sequence. What we do, we form profile of motif from the first I minus one sequences and then select profile most probable k in the sequence number i. Afterwards, we iterate. And that uh, will result in the greedy algorithm for solving the problem, and we will see later whether it works or doesn't work for our goals.